Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm back out at the retreat location this weekend and wrapping up my ATV comms project. In the previous video I demonstrated the mounting of a Midland Micro Mobile GMRS radio to the front rack of the ATV, but I decided to take it up another notch and added a 2 meter amateur radio, a 50 watt VHF radio here. It's an FT2500M. It's an older radio made by Yesu. And searching online I was able to find a CB mount right there made by Workman and I'll put a link down below that I was able to also mount to the front rack of the ATV and then mount the radio to that. So now I have two options if I need communications on the ATV. I could switch the antenna connection there between the 2 meter radio or the GMRS radio. I used Anderson power pole connectors so it's easy to switch the power between the two radios. And how I ran all this cabling is I drilled two holes there, put grommets, we have power and the coax. Both of them run behind the blue plastic there against the gas tank. Wraps around underneath, goes over the air filter, comes down the side here, very carefully placed so the seat doesn't pinch it. I have an Anderson power pole connector there for a quick disconnect, a waterproof fuse holder, and then it terminates on the battery. The coax cable continues towards the back of the bike. I drilled a small hole there to get the cable out, and when I got to the rack, I drilled a hole in the rack, put a grommet, ran the coax inside the tubing so when you're driving it won't get caught on branches and bushes. I come along towards the back of the bike, drilled another hole, put another grommet, pulled the cable out, put a PL259 connector on it. I have a Breed Love mount adapter here. This is their SO239 to NMO mount adapter. And currently I have a 2 meter 70 centimeter amateur radio dual band antenna. And right next to it is DPD Productions double 5 8 whip GMRS antenna, so I can easily change antennas. And then I took the manuals and I put them under the seat here. And next to them is a really cool first aid kit that I got from Skinny Medic. I actually had the privilege of meeting Skinny Medic a couple of weeks ago at PrepCon 5 in Chantilly, Virginia. And I picked up two of his small Molly first aid kits, one for the ATV and one for my wife's car. So I'd like to do a shout out for Skinny Medic and I'll put a link down below. He's got a great channel. If you need to know anything about first aid, check out his channel. And he also has an online store and I'll put a link to that where you can pick up all sorts of medical supplies and first aid kits. So all that sits nicely underneath the seat. The manual is the first aid kit and we now have comms on the ATV. Something I forgot to mention, what will I do if it starts to rain? My solution is a shower cap. I went to our local drugstore, picked up a package of six for less than two bucks. I put them in a the little storage compartment there on the bike. So if it starts to rain while I'm out riding around in the ATV, that's my solution. Throw a shower cap on it. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a video on the ATV Comms Project from wonderful West Virginia. Thanks for watching, guys.